In the left corner we have Unity, and in the right corner Unreal Engine 5. Now, let's fight! Just kidding guys, I mean, come on bro, don't let anyone convince you one game engine is 100% better than the other. In this video I want to show you what game engine I would choose for a particular project and the pros and cons of both engines. As a solo game developer I tried out Unity and Unreal. I have gone through the learning materials and created projects in both engines. I started out with Unity and a few months later changed to Unreal Engine 5, but that's not necessarily my recommendation. So without further ado, let's start into my personal findings. Many people think you need to be a mad genius to be able to code. You don't. I didn't say it's going to be super easy, but it's achievable with some practice trial and error. Unity uses C Sharp as our coding language and Unreal uses C++. C Sharp is, in my opinion, easier to code in than C++. This is a big plus for Unity. However, you shouldn't forget that programming in a game engine is more like scripting on top of your coding language. Unreal made C++ much more achievable because of the way you can use the scripting aspect of the language. Still, for many solo developers, their visual scripting tool, named Blueprints, is very mature and popular. In C Sharp, much of the work is automatically done for you. C++ is sometimes more difficult to wrap your head around. For example, in C++ you need to be aware of memory management, which in C Sharp is done for you. You don't even need to think about that part of writing your code. But the power of C++ is that you overall have better performance and more freedom. You are closer to the metal, so to speak. That is why some programs like C++ more than C Sharp. It gives them more freedom and improved performance. Both Unity and Unreal Engine offer visual scripting for free, which is a good price if you ask me. Unity has acquired Bolt, which is their version of visual scripting. Unreal Engine uses Blueprints. The clear winner here is Unreal Engine with their Blueprints. Blueprints are fully integrated into their game engine since years and it's built by Epic Games themselves. Also, many Unreal solo developers are working with Blueprints. You can do more with Blueprints in Unreal Engine than you can think of. When I started in Unreal Engine, I thought of Blueprints as a temporal solution. Then slowly I love the ease and process of working in them. Some call it spaghetti coding, but for me it is still organized. There are multiple ways to structure and clean up your blueprint code. You can color code, collapse notes, make macros, organize functions really nicely. At least, if you want to of course. My recommendation if you want to learn Unity, code in C Sharp. If you want to use visual scripting, definitely go with Unreal. Also if you want to learn C++ coding later on, you can combine both C++ and blueprints, even in the same project. It is no secret that Unreal Engine has always had the upper hand regarding visuals. But Unity has made much progress over the years. They now offer a high quality definition render pipeline. For regular people the difference in quality might be hard to see, depending on the person working on the engine. It's when you crank out the maximum out of each engine, Unreal Engine should come out of on top. And dare I say, even with less effort. That's a bold statement. But to get the same graphic quality in Unity as in Unreal, you have to squeak and tweak the engine more. But remember, it is achievable. Now with Lumen inside of Unreal Engine, we get global illumination in real time. That's insane. In Unreal Engine 4 and Unity, you have to set up lights and bake them. This takes a lot of time, efforts and frustration. With Lumen technology, this is all done for you and the light bounce is insanely realistic. But once more, great visuals can also be achieved in Unity. Just take a look at the game Escape from Tarkov. This game was created inside of Unity and it looks amazing. The general game development community recommends Unreal Engine 5 if you are leaning more on the artistic side. For 2D games I can be really short and precise. Pick Unity. Just do it. They have great built-in tools for 2D game creation and many prestigious 2D games are created with Unity. Hollow Knight and Ori and the Blind Forest are just two examples of beautiful 2D games created in Unity. You can also create 2D games inside of Unreal Engine, but you will create more of a 2.5D game. Now you wonder what's that supposed to mean? It means you create a 3D environment, but the player camera looks at it from the side view perspective. So you have a 3D character, but only showing 2D dimensions by portraying it from a side angle. So it's better to make use of the many built-in 2D features that Unity offers. It will be more enjoyable to work that way and it lets you create an actual 2D game. If you want to create 3D, I'm slightly biased towards Unreal Engine 5. The engine is built for 3D games and has a lot of amazing features built in the engine itself. Due to Unreal Engine 5 is the use of Nanite. This technology automatically makes your models more performant. Big objects otherwise need multiple versions. We call this level of details or LODs. Creating and implementing these LODs can otherwise take up a lot of time and graphic power. Nanite does this for you. You can focus more on the artistic side and Unreal does the rest for you. You can also build great games with Unity. There are a lot of coding tutorials online for amongst each problem that you can think of. Many solo developers use Unity for 3D games if they have smaller projects, but you can also create big ones in Unity as well. Lately I'm feeling a shift from Unity to Unreal Engine 5 for these developers, especially for 3D, which is also why I like Unreal Engine for these kind of games. 
To get a better overview of the possibilities of Unity, we can also talk about the games that were created within them. We already went over Escape from Tarkov, but aside from the many indie games, there were also bigger ones. Fallout guys, Among Us, Pokemon Go, Hearthstone, Cuphead are just a few that come to mind. There are many more, but also many mobile games. Probably some that you have on your phone are created inside of the Unity engine. The most impressive list, however, comes from the side of Unreal Engine. This is because most AAA studios choose Unreal Engine or their own engines over Unity for their games, usually because of the high quality graphics and the scope of the project. To name a few, we have Hellblade, Fortnite, Conan Exiles, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Yoshi's World, Star Wars, Batman, Unreal Tournament, Ark Survival, and many, many more. A lot of these were created in earlier versions of Unreal Engine, but there are more great titles announced for Unreal Engine 5. It will blow our minds. Unity and Unreal Engine are competing with each other to get as many people on their side as possible, which is a good thing for us, the community. Pricing plans have changed over the years and because of this healthy competition we got a lot of better deals. Game development is so accessible right now. Both engines are completely free to start out with. Yes, you heard it. Free as in zero dollars to get started. And it will take a while before you have to start paying a licensing fee or royalties. And by the time you have to, you will be happy to do so because that means you've created a successful game. Let me explain what I mean with that. With Unity, you get to use the engine for free until you make $100,000 in the last 12 months with your project. That's a lot of money for a solo developer. If you are among the lucky people that reach that level, you have to switch to the plus plan, which costs $399 per year. That sounds like a sweet deal to me. Unreal Engine used to be a paid product in the past. Now it's also free to get started with, and this will probably be the case forever, because a 5% royalty only kicks in if and when your title earns over a whopping $1 million. So only when you reach that million dollar mark, from that point on, you have to buy a 5% cut. Let's be real here, this engine is in actuality free. You also get the full version. There is no difference between the paid or free version, which is a crazy good deal for us if you ask me. What a time to be alive if you want to create games. These are the current deals that are presented for us by the time I'm recording this video. The requirements and thresholds might change in the future. Since you might be watching this video later in the future, it's best to have a quick look at their official website for the latest pricing plan details. Unity was the first game engine that I started with. I really enjoyed many aspects of this engine, but there were also some frustrations that I want to share with you. But first the goods. Unity is a pretty lightweight engine and my crappy computer back then could handle most of the things that I wanted to create just fine. The thing that I liked most about Unity was a simple work environment and a big community that's built around it. There are many great learning resources for Unity. Their documentation is fantastic. They have a massive asset store and YouTube is stacked with helpful tutorials for any Unity topic that you can think of. Your solution is usually a few clicks or tutorials away. I also like the fact that you could code and script in C Sharp. This is a fantastic programming language that's readable. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the big reasons why people are sticking with Unity. Except for the programming side of the spectrum, Unity is catching up in the graphical department with their improved lighting, shaders, render pipeline and acquiring different companies to do so. For example, you might have heard about Weta Digital. This company is now owned by none other than Unity themselves. It includes amazing visual effects and digital entertainment options. This shows me that Unity wants to keep their game up and compete with Unreal. Unity also shines in the fact that it is easy to create games for all kind of platforms, PC, console, mobile, you name it, Unity can do it all. And don't forget about 2D games, I already went over the 2D possibilities so Unity should be a no-brainer in that regard. But there were also some moments when my grey hairs appeared faster than I wanted. Unity has a big asset store, but it kind of also relies on these third-party plugins to make the lightweight engine better. This also means that it gives more room for errors and you have to hope that it's compatible with the current version that you are working on. Eventually this becomes a big puzzle and maze that you can't get yourself out of. You also have to install a bunch of third-party assets manually and test this out for yourself. I really dislike that you have to install all kind of packages to get something pretty basic some of the time. For me this made some Unity projects kind of unstable. Sometimes you start up with your project and it's pink. Just pink and bug out everywhere. Which means there will be a lot of debugging, problem solving and just fixing basic stuff with bandages and third-party solutions. I also hope that Unity will make it easier to create multiplayer games. It's pretty hard to set up a network environment in Unity. This is of course less of a problem for bigger teams who can set this up all for themselves, but for solo developers creating a multiplayer game in Unity can become a real headache. Unity has created several demos showing the possibilities of the engine and these are just amazing. As of now they haven't released a real game of themselves. I hope that in the future they create a great game with their own engine. Overall this is a great game engine, but you have to see the pros and cons for what they really are. 
Let me also show you my personal experiences in working with Unreal Engine. There are big benefits, but also some disadvantages to keep in mind. When I first tested Unreal Engine, I already saw the first problem. My shitty old computer was just too slow to run Unreal Engine 5. So you need a pretty good computer to run this beast of an engine. Unreal Engine is more heavy duty engine than Unity. In return, it also comes with a lot more power, but don't expect a smooth workflow with a plain old laptop. As of now, Unreal Engine had a smaller community than Unity, but it's increasing more and more by the day. The documentation is getting better, a new learning platform was introduced and many YouTubers, like myself, are creating helpful tutorials on all kind of Unreal Engine topics that you might want to learn. Unity has the asset store, but Unreal Engine has the marketplace. Different name, but it's basically the same thing. The Unreal Engine marketplace is smaller, but it's much higher quality. When you scroll through the marketplace, you will be amazed by the quality that is out there for Unreal Engine. A quick tip in your Epic Games launcher, look into the free section and then free for the Month. Each month you can snatch a few high quality assets for completely free and this rotates each month. Pretty cool if you ask me. Unreal Engine is built to be the game engine of the future. Their new technology just blows me away. Lumen and Nanite make it so easy to get great graphics and good performance on high quality assets. The part I was most afraid of was coding in C++. That's why I started with Blueprints, their visual scripting system. And I fell in love with it. It still feels like actual programming to me, which I didn't expect at first. And it just makes logical sense to me. For me personally, this really speeds up my work flow and almost most of the tutorials online are also shown with people using blueprints. You can now also use AAA graphics for free. Epic Games acquired Quixo. This means you can use Bridge, Mixer and Megascans also for free. These Megascans are photorealistic scanned in materials from the real world. They look amazing and you can drag and drop it inside of your game, once again for free. If you use Unreal Engine, now it's more difficult to mix in my crappy art with their amazing assets, but that's a luxurious problem to have, wouldn't you agree? The possibilities of Unreal Engine are enormous, it's so big that it scares some people away. But the interface is really clean and organized, and you don't have to use the advanced stuff anyway if you don't need it. It's just there for when you're ready for it. Without needing to install some packages from random people and hoping your versions will align, it's just all there. Epic Games have also created cool looking extensions like a weather and sky atmosphere system, meta sounds, water and land mass plugins and a meta human creator, just to name a few. You can now create realistic looking humans fully rigged and ready to go, with just a few mouse clicks like you were creating a character in one of the Sims game. It's still pretty new, but I'm sure they're adding more details to these extensions in the future. I also really like working with their material shaders, artificial intelligence integration, possibilities for multiplayer and animation systems. And to top it off, Epic Games, the creators of Unreal Engine, create their own games with the engine. This is now also a good reason to thank Fortnite if you somehow disliked it in the past. The money they make from these games goes straight back into their products and Unreal Engine. Thank you for all your spent V-Bucks, kids. So this is a beast of an engine, but I wouldn't recommend it for 2D games or use it on a crappy computer. It's a big engine, but if you have the guts for it, you can install it and test it anyway for free. The debate that usually comes up is which engine is the most beginner friendly. In the past, many people would scream out Unity as the answer to this question. But with Unreal Engine 5, we get Lumen, Nanite and Ease of Blueprints, so the game is changing in that regard. Having experience with both, I can say either engine goes really deep, but for beginners, both are great choices. You can go wrong with whatever engine you choose, I changed from Unity to Unreal Engine and that process went pretty comfortable. Without the prior experience of Unity, this wouldn't be a problem either way. In contrary to popular belief, I would give Unreal Engine 5 the slight edge here. Yes, there are more options, but you don't have to use them as a beginner anyway. Having a character running around in a pretty level is easier in Unreal Engine 5 for a beginner. This is just my personal journey. Some developers could have had other experiences. So in general, I can say that you should pick Unity if you want to create 2D games. Also, if you really want to focus heavily on coding or have prior experiences with Java or C Sharp, small mobile games would also be a great job for Unity. If you still have no clue what kind of game you want to make, after watching this video or what engine to choose, I'm slightly biased to say pick Unreal Engine 5, especially if you want to create 3D games. Still, the best advice that I could give you is to try both engines for yourself. It's not like you have to marry it. You can also switch and have a taste of the other one, just like I did. The engine you enjoy working in the most is usually the best game engine for you anyway, whether that is Unity, Unreal Engine or even something else. So now it's time for action. If you want to check out Unity first, click the video on the left side of your screen. If you fancy Unreal Engine 5, click the video on your right. Let me know in the comments section below this video what game engine you will start out with and whatever you pick, enjoy it and go create something cool with it. Until we meet again.